Are you struggling to maximize your ad visibility and engagement while minimizing costs? Do fluctuating advertising expenses and uncertain ROI keep you up at night? Fear not, because we are about to unveil the ultimate solution to your advertising challenges. VCBM Capital. Hello everyone, I'm Ankita Patil, Product Evangelist at Cellarab and today in this video I'll dive deep into how BCPM campaigns can revolutionize your Amazon advertising strategy. Well, here's a quick overview of topics we are covering in this video. Before we begin, if you find this video helpful, click the like button below and subscribe to Seller App so you don't miss out on more exciting Amazon selling tutorials in the future. And don't forget to follow us on our social media channels for more helpful content. Let's get started. So what are VCPM campaigns? Well, VCPM, that is cost per thousand viewable impressions, is a buying model in sponsored display that helps you focus on reaching more people. It's like a simple version of DSP, but with fewer options to target specific audiences and less control overall. Now, before Amazon sponsored display ads could only be optimized for clicks, some mistakenly think that using VCPM works the same as paying per click while it comes to tracking sales. Now, however, it isn't entirely true. Sellers who prioritize uh, performance tend to focus on strategies that drive immediate sales. So they might overlook the potential of VCPM campaigns. But having the VCPM billing model in sponsored display is still really useful. Uh, especially for brands uh, that aren't ready to invest in DSP yet. It helps with budget planning, gives access to premium ad spots at a lower cost and offers more chances to get your brand and products noticed by potential customers. Now let's simplify how Amazon's VCPM cost model works. In sponsored display VCPM campaigns, conversions and revenue are estimated values attributed to both the viewable impressions and clicks. This means that alongside the actual conversions and revenue generated through the VCPM campaign, Amazon also includes estimated conversions and revenue when someone views your sponsored display ad but doesn't click on it. It's important to know that the VCPM conversions and the revenue are credited to your brand sales, uh, not specific products in the campaign. For example, if you check an advertised product report from Amazon, you'll notice that the orders and sales don't match what's shown in Amazon's UI at the campaign level. Now here's a breakdown. The 14-day uh, total orders and 14-day total sales columns show the results based on the campaign's cost type. The 14-day total orders click and the 14-day total sales click columns are based on click attribution regardless of whether your campaign cost type is CPC or VCPM. So when analyzing your campaign performance, keep in mind that the attribution methods and how they affect the reported results. Now moving on, sometimes uh, sellers confuse uh, CPM and VCPM, but they are a bit different. CPM or cost per thousand impressions is often talked about when discussing the price of an ad. It's important for figuring out how much to spend on advertising and covers all the ads shown on a website. Uh, so when you pay based on CPM, uh, you are paying for all the ads that appear on a web page. For example, if the CPM rate is $2, that means uh, that the adv advertiser pays $2 every time the ad is seen 1000 times. It doesn't matter if the ad is actually visible on the screen, you pay what you bid during the auction. On the flip side, VCPM stands for viewable cost per thousand impressions. This means you are only charged when your ad is actually seen by someone rather than just being served to a page. With VCPM, you pay for ads that are actively visible on a user's screen. This means that ads viewability is super important in determining the campaign's cost. Sellers who want to boost their brand's 
recognition often prefer using VCPM because they only pay for ads that people can actually see. Now, how to calculate VCPM? Well, calculating it is quite straightforward. Here's how you can do it. It's budget divided by total ad impressions into percentage of ad viewability divided by 1000. Now, let's say uh, we want to set up an ad campaign using VCPM and we have the following details. That is ad viewability, uh, 68%. Uh, this is the average of the ads uh, shown above the fold. Ad campaign budget, uh, $100,000. Then CPM rate, $1.25 per click. Total impressions, 2 crore 50 lakhs. Then viewable impressions, 1 crore 25 lakhs. Maximum VCPM bid under the target, that is $5. Remember to be counted as viewable, at least 50% of the ad must be visible for more than one second. Now let's plug these values into the formula. $100,000 divided by 2 crore 50 lakhs into 0.68 uh, divided by 1000, that gives you $5.88. So the result shows that each viewable CPM is $5.88. This means that for every 1000 viewable impressions, of your ad, it will cost $5.88 since 68% of the ad is visible for longer than one second. Now, what does a high VCPM mean? Uh, understanding what a high VCPM means is crucial for optimizing your ad campaigns. So let's break it down. When your VCPM is high, like in the example we talked about earlier, where the average cost for VCPM is $5, it means that each viewable ad impression is costing more than expected. This can lead to fewer viewable ad impressions overall. The aim is to bring down the viewable cost uh, while increasing the number of ad impressions. So by doing this, you can get a better return on your investment in the long run. So how to create sponsored display VCPM campaigns? Well, creating them on Amazon is quite simple. Here's a step-by-step -step guide. Firstly, sign in to your uh, Seller Central account. On your home page, go to Advertising and select the Campaign Manager from the menu. In the Campaign Manager page, click on Create Campaign. You will see various options for creating different types of sponsored ad campaign. To start a sponsored display campaign, choose the sponsored display after clicking uh, the create campaign. Now let's set up your campaign. After selecting uh, the sponsored display, choose uh, your sponsored brands, uh, set par parameters like the campaign name, the daily budget and duration if you want to set an end date. Create an ad group and name it as if you like. After that, select the products you want to advertise in this ad group. You can search and add them manually or use the Amazon's bulk upload feature. Now choose product targeting from the targeting options. Decide on your campaign bidding strategy. Now Amazon offers three options. Optimize for viewable impressions, that is VCPM. Then optimize for page visits and optimize for conversions. So select the products you want to target with your ads and click on launch campaign to set your campaign live. That's it. You have now created your sponsored display VCPM campaign on Amazon. Now let's look into the advanced strategies to improve VCPM audience segmentation. So implementing these uh, advanced audience segmentation techniques to target specific customer segments with tailored ad creatives you can utilize our uh, Amazon's audience targeting options such as custom audiences or lookalike audiences to reach high value customers more effectively. Next is dynamic creative optimization. Uh, imp uh, implementing you know, DCO techniques to dynamically adjust ad creatives based on user behavior, demographics, or other contextual signals. By delivering personalized ad experiences, you can actually increase relevance and drive higher viewability and engagement rates. Cross-channel integration. Integrate your Amazon advertising efforts with other marketing channels to create a cohesive brand experience across platforms. Leverage data insights from other channels to inform your Amazon ad strategy and vice versa. 
optimizing performance holistically. Next is incrementality testing. Now uh, conduct incrementality uh, testing to measure the true impact of your Amazon ad campaigns on the key performance metrics such as sales and brand lift. By comparing the results of exposed and controlled groups, you can accurately assess the incremental value generated by your ads and optimize accordingly. Next is advanced bid strategies. Now implement advanced bidding strategies such as day parting or geo targeting to optimize bids based on special time frames or geographic regions by adjusting bids dynamically to account for variations in user behavior or market conditions you can actually maximize the vcpm efficiency creative testing and optimization now continuously test and optimize your ad creatives to identify the top performing variations and refine your messaging and design accordingly Next is utilize A-B testing or multivariate testing techniques to experiment with different creative elements and uncover the insights for the future optimization. Next we have is data-driven attribution modeling. Uh, implement advanced attribution modeling techniques to accurately attribute uh, the conversions to the appropriate touch points along the customer journey by understanding the impact of different ad exposures on the conversion outcomes you can optimize your budget allocation and bidding strategy for maximum efficiency predictive analytics leverage uh, these analytics and machine learning algorithms to uh, forecast future performance trends and optimize your amazon ad strategy proactively by analyzing uh, historical data patterns and external factors, you can anticipate changes in user behavior and the market dynamics to stay ahead of the curve. So uh, let's break down the good and not so good sides of using the VCPM ads. First are the advantages, expanded reach. VCPM helps your brand reach more people even beyond Amazon's platform. Next is attracting new customers, so these ads Introduce your brand to potential customers who haven't come across it before. Now let's look into the drawbacks. So limited targeting precision, uh, focusing on impressions rather than clicks might mean less control over who sees your ads. Also paying for impressions, with VCPM you are charged for every thousand viewable impressions which can make it tricky to figure out uh, your return on ad spend. Next is cost concerns. So running VCPM campaigns can be expensive and might not always fit your budget. Tracking challenges, it can be tough to measure the real impact of VCPM ads on the brand awareness since there's often a delay between uh, you know, when someone sees the ad and when you can measure its effect. So establishing strong brand awareness is essential for business growth while VCPM campaigns can be effective in reaching the customers at the top of the sales funnel, it's important to be aware of their potential drawbacks such as fraud targeting, high costs and the risk of reducing the organic sales. Incorrect measurement can lead to misleading insights and hinder your ability to spot new opportunities. However, this doesn't mean VCPM campaigns aren't valuable. The key is to use them wisely to maximize their benefits while minimizing the drawbacks. So this is where the seller app comes into play. Our team of PPC experts has a proven track record of implementing the comprehensive advertising strategies for major brands like Philips and Coca-Cola, as well as over 20,000 others. We can apply the same expertise to elevate your brand success. So reach out to us at support at salarab.com and let us help engineer the success your brand deserves. And that's it for this video, everyone. Thanks for watching. Your support means a lot to us. It encourages us to bring out more helpful videos like this. So if you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to Salarab. Let us know if you guys want us to create detailed seller guides on any specific topics. You can leave your suggestions in the comment section below and we'll definitely create them for you. If you haven't already, click the bell icon so that you will never miss another video. Also, don't forget to follow us on our social media channels for more helpful content. And as always, happy selling!